Hey everyone! Hey, so it is springtime, and today I have the windows open at my house, and you might even see one of my cats sitting in the open window behind me there. Springtime is a great time of the year. It's also the time when I'm getting ready to work outside my house and clean up things around the house and start uh, working in the yard and making sure that everything is in good shape. Well, sometimes I find wasps and yellow jackets have built nests in places close to where I'm working. So I have this spray handy to keep them away from me so I don't get stung. And so thinking about bees and yellow jackets and wasps, I'm thinking of this fun and somewhat yucky song to share with you today. Maybe you even know it. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me. I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Ooh, he's ooey and gooey. I'm cleaning up a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm cleaning up my baby bumblebee. Now my mommy won't be mad at me. Oh my. You know, baby bumblebee, maybe you've heard that song before. It's a traditional rhyme and a gesture play song. It's sort of a yucky song, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know what? This song is not just for children. When I worked at a summer camp for years as a counselor and even as camp director, we would sing this song with our summer campers, even the teenagers. And we would include sometimes some verses that were a little gross, like, I'm eating up the baby bump, bump eating the baby bump, and I'm throwing up. Oh, okay. Well, you might know those verses too. It seemed gross, but even though everyone would go, ooh, we still enjoyed singing it, you bet. And they would ask for us to sing that song and act out the motions, even as we got older. Well, you know, sometimes we do the things we don't want to do or like to do. Did you ever hear this verse from Romans chapter 7? I don't understand what I do. I don't do what I want to do. Instead, I do what I hate to do. I do what I don't want to do. You know, I want to do what is good, but I can't. I don't do the good things I want to do. I keep on doing the evil things I don't want to do. I do what I don't want to do, but I'm not really the one who is doing it. It is sin living in me that does it. Well, in Romans chapter 7 and in these verses, the Apostle Paul is writing about um, a struggle that we have with our sinful nature and how it is sometimes too easy to do the things that we know are wrong. Even though we want to do the good things, we mess up and we continue to do the wrong things. Well, when we do the wrong things, this is called sin. And sin stings like a wasp or a yellow jacket. It hurts and it is harmful to us. So we must guard what we do. In order to do the right thing and not sin, we must first of all know what is right, right? And then we must make a decision to do the right thing and not the wrong thing. But we should also know that God is able to help us to do the right thing. Jesus came to offer us the opportunity to follow God's ways without always worrying about making mistakes. He offers us forgiveness if and when we do the wrong thing. Well, we have the opportunity to do the right things because Jesus has given us a new nature and he wants to help us fight the old nature. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. You know, springtime is about new things. It's also about wasps and yellow jackets. So I will try to be careful. I don't want to get stung. And I want to try to do the right things and not the wrong things. And I am so glad that God will help me do the right things. So today, I hope that you make good decisions as well. And I hope that you will do the right things. Because when we do the right things, we live in joy. And we live in peace. Have that kind of a day.